What's up Giant Slayers, Brandon here from David vs. Goliath BJJ. In today's video, we're going over what I learned from facing the same opponent uh, two times in the same day. Uh, if you guys want to learn, then keep on watching. Alright guys, so here's one of my gi matches in the brown belt division at Naga 2019. And um, this opponent that I'm facing in the gi right now, I had beat him about a half hour uh, prior to this match in no gi. And so here we go. Uh, action starting here, slapping a fist bump, uh, coming out with a low stance. And immediately my opponent's looking to pull guard. And I think that um, because I took him down in no gi, uh, he knew I had a good takedown game. His coaches were, um, you know, kind of advising him to pull guard. So right away he came out looking to play a strong guard game. So uh, if, it, if there's anything you can learn from playing the same opponent twice is, you know, watch how they start the match. And, uh, you know, if he's a strong takedown game, maybe uh, you might not want to go there. And, and that's what my opponent opted to do. So uh, here he is. Uh, controlling my collar and my uh, ankle, looking to set up a, set up a De La um, I was trying to kill his De La Hiva hook and just not let him uh, rotate around towards my back. Um, here I'm kind of posting on my left hand, looking for a knee cut pass, uh, one of my favorite passes. And by the way, guys, if you if you don't have a strong knee cut in your game, I recommend it. Uh, works all the way from you know white belt all the way up to the highest levels. You, you'll always see guys have a strong knee cut game. So. I'm looking at knee slice right here. Um, my opponent has a really nice uh, pant leg grip. You guys see there, his left hand is controlling my pant leg. So that's what's making it a little bit difficult for me to knee slice. Um, but that's what I was going for. Um, my right hand uh, has an underhook on my right side. You guys just kind of saw me look back there, uh, what was keeping me stuck. Um, I should have addressed that grip a little bit better. Uh, but anyways, um, looking to uh, pass his guard and, and kind of uh, keep him upright. Sometimes I'll pull the guy up to a sitting position to look for a pass, but um, he, he did a nice job loading me there, and here we, we ended up in a scramble. Uh, right here, you guys, I went for a throw, and I ended up reversing the position, and if you guys notice the ref, uh, neutral. I didn't get any posi any points for that, um, and you know, to this day, I'm not sure why. Leave me a comment uh, down in the description if you guys know why, but um, I was told that there wasn't a clear uh, change of position even though he came up from kind of an open guard uh, to a standing position I thought I would have got two points for the takedown uh, anyways I didn't get any points for that and here we are uh, kind of in a scramble he's looking for uh, my foot uh, I, I went for a knee bar there and I kind of failed and he's looking for a toe hold um, but here we're scrambling and the match is 0-0 right now he pulled guard again and I didn't get points for that takedown um, looking for a toe hold I'm trying to roll out here um, my coach right here uh, is in the bottom right hand corner. Um, I always try to make sure I'm, I'm uh, listening to my coach. I'm not one to uh, listen to everything my coach says, you know, um, but I do like to have my coach in my ear in case he sees something that I don't. Uh, right here I'm looking for an ankle pick, looking to drive my opponent over. I did get him down to a hip right there. Uh, again, I'm, no points awarded for that. Um, so I think in the no-gi for Naga division, sometimes if you break somebody down to the turtle position, you usually get points. Um, but in the gi division, that's not the case here. So I didn't get any points for bringing him down to a hip. Uh, right now, again, I have a front headlock and uh, looking to uh, kind of roll him over or take his back. That's my mindset right now. Uh, he's doing a good job uh, staying off of his feet, or excuse me, staying off of his knees, coming up to his feet. And um, he's real mindful of my back take right here. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much time was left, but I know uh, the match was more than halfway over at this point. So uh, right now we're really mindful of uh, who's up on points. Uh, but again, my mindset, guys, is push the pace, push the action, because if it ever does go to the judges, which I don't like, I'm always trying to go for a submission, but uh, if it ever does go to the judges, you know, I want to make sure that it looks like I'm the one trying to press the action. So uh, that's kind of what I had in mind here. Um, but I did drop for a guillotine again. Um, I actually talked to my opponent after the match. He's a really nice guy. Uh, he, he actually told me that, man, he was this close to uh, tapping on that, that attempt there. Uh, but um, the ref's looking at the time right here, and, yep, time expired. So I didn't uh, – I wasn't able to catch the guillotine. Um, I was super close. Um, you know, tough guy, tough opponent. Uh, that was a really fun match. But if there's anything, again, I can learn from playing the same opponent – uh, twice on the same day it's that you know he's not always gonna have the same game plan he came out the second time knowing that uh, I had a strong takedown in the nogi uh, so he's immediately looking to play guard and kind of establish his guard game there so hats off to him he did a great job and uh, you guys will see the ref's decision here in a second but um 
Uh, I, this one did not go in my favor. So, uh, you know, again, hats off to my opponent. But, um, you know, that's what I get for leaving the fight in the hands of the judges. So back to the drawing board, looking to sharpen up my game and, um, you know, get better at submissions and uh, passing guard. And, um, yeah, even my conditioning. I was a little shocked there, you guys, but uh, I did hug my opponent. We had a good conversation after. I was trying to be a good sport about it. So uh, my coach was pissed. But anyways, uh, leave me a comment down below, guys, if you like today's video. Um, and uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.